Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome back. In this one, we are going to be discussing the trade that has sent Michael Givens from the Baltimore Orioles to the Colorado Rockies. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. We have more trades coming your way in the next 24 hours. Trade deadline, of course, is coming up quickly, so make sure you hit that bell so you're notified when I upload. All right, starting this trade off, the struggling bullpen of the Colorado Rockies has went out and made a, an amazing trade, I should say. Michael Givens this year in 13 innings has pitched 1.38 ERA, 19 strikeouts, and has a one whip flat. Career-wise, Givens in 336 innings has pitched to a 3.32 ERA, 406 strikeouts, and a 1.137 whip. Givens has always been a reliever slightly flying under the radar, and as we see right here, he's been proving himself to a 1.38 ERA in 13 innings so far in 2020. Now, this Colorado bullpen has been massively struggling. I mean, anyone they saw, they took, brought in Wade Davis, they had like, uh, they had, who I don't even, but let's put it this way. The Colorado bullpen's been so bad, I don't even know their closing pitcher. The Rockies went out here and acquired Michael Givens, who presumably will now be closing games for the Colorado Rockies, and Givens will actually be pitching for a different team for the first time in his career however what the rockies gave up has been massive like like massive uh compared to a lot of th these other trades first player they gave up was taron vavra uh he is the number 12 ranked prospect now in the orioles organization um he's a shortstop prospect uh estimated in to come up in 2021 he was a third round pick in 2018 he has a 55 hit 45 power 50 run 50 uh arm 50 field and overall of 45. His career in the minor leagues, he's hitting 313, 14 home runs, has stolen uh, 27 bases, and has a 483 slugging. So overall, Taron Valvera is a very, very solid prospect. The real rebuilding Orioles, you could not have gotten a better player. And personally, I think Valvera for Gibbons right there was straight up. However, the Rockies included another player, Tyler Nevin, who is uh, Phil Nevin's son, who is a coach for the Yankees. Nevin is a first base, third base prospect, drafted in 2015. He's estimated to come up in 2020. He has a 50 hit, 50 power, 40 run, 50 arm, 50 field, and overall 45. His career in the minor leagues, uh, he's hitting 286, 36 home runs, 23 stolen bases, and is hitting at a 441 slugging. So obviously, Nevin here is another very, very solid option. He is not as proven as... Volver has been in the minor leagues. He has played in the minors longer, but he is more uh, major league ready. The Orioles are also getting a player to be named later or cash considerations to go on in this deal, which is amazing for the Orioles. Overall, clear winners of this are the Orioles. In my opinion, the Rockies gave up a ton, but again, the Rockies, keep their, they are a sleeper team this year. Their pitching has been actually good for once pitching in Coors Field they have the offense they just had a terrible bullpen so overall the Rockies are also a team to watch out to buy a few players they could be in the race to get a solid starting pitcher and bolster that uh, bolster that rotation let me know what y'all think in this trade comment section below did the Rockies give up too much or do you think this trade's good for the Rockies and the Orioles did you think that their return was too much I mean, if you're an Orioles fan, I'm happy with this return. You guys are rebuilding. Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.